<laughs> I used to clean beans when I was in the home. <laughs> and also string beans. I also pressed clothes. Some girls did hand sewing. They spent the day doing that. I didn't like it. When I did that, the days was even longer. And, and there was times when I couldn't move even if I tried. And he said that I couldn't go there anymore. That I had to stay in the yard. But I didn't mind sitting in the yard looking at the birds. I went to the laundry room and watched the women work. They let me go in and sit there and, and they showed me how to press. I like to press because my mind wanders and I find satisfaction. I can iron all day. I like the way the wrinkles come out and things look nice. It's a miracle, isn't it? I mean, I can earn a living pressing clothes, and I can find my grandpa and take care of him. Where's your grandpa? I don't know. He sleeps in the streets because he's too old to remember where he lives. He needs a person to take care of him, and I can take care of him, but I don't know where he is, and he doesn't know where I am. He doesn't know who he is. He's too old. He doesn't know anything about himself. He only knows how to beg, and he only knows that because he's hungry. He walks around the street and begs for food. He forgets to go home. He lives in a camp for the homeless, and, and he has his own box! It's not an ugly box like the others. It's a real box. I used to live there with him. He took me there with him when my mother died. Till they took me to the home. where it's cold and he can sleep in the back where it's warmer and he can lean on me. The floor is hard for him because he's skinny and it's hard on his poor bones. But he can sleep on top of me if that would make him feel comfortable. I wouldn't mind. Hey, that he may be on me because he pees his pants. <laughs> he doesn't know not to. He's incontinent. He can't hold it. His box was a little smelly, though. But that doesn't matter because I could clean it. All I would need is some soap. I could get plenty of water from the public faucet. And I could borrow a brush. You know how clean I could get it? It's clean as new. You know what I would do? I would make holes in the floor so that the pee would go down to the ground. And then you know what else I would do? What? I would get straw. And I will put it on the floor for him and for me, and it will make it comfortable and clean and, and warm. <laughs> How do you like that? Just as I did for my goat. You have a goat? <laughs> I did. Well, what happened to him? He died. They killed him and ate him, just like they did Christ. <laughs> 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 In the home we had clean sheets, but that doesn't help. You can't sleep on clean sheets, not if there isn't someone watching over you while you sleep. And since my mom died, there just wasn't anyone watching over me. Except you! Aren't you? In the home, they said guardian angels watch you sleep. But I didn't see any. There weren't any. One night I heard my grandpa calling me, and I went to go look for him. And I didn't find him. I got tired, and I slept in the street, and I was hungry, and I was crying. And then he came to me, and he spoke to me very softly so, so as not to scare me. And he said that he would give me something to eat. 
And he said that he would help me look for my grandpa. <clears throat> and then he put me in the back of his van and and he took me to a place. And he hurt me. I fought with him, but I stopped fighting because I couldn't fight any longer. And and he did things to me. And he locked me in. And sometimes he gave me food, and, and sometimes he did it, and he did things to me, and he beat me, and he hung me on the wall, and I got sick, and, and sometimes he brought me medicine, and then he said that he had to take me somewhere, and he brought me here, and I'm glad to be here because you're here. I only wish my grandpa were here too. He doesn't beat me so much anymore. Why does he beat you? I hear him at night. Goes down the steps, and I hear you cry. Why does he beat you? Because I'm dirty. You are not dirty. I am. That's why he beats me. The dirt won't go away from inside me. He comes downstairs when I'm sleeping, and I hear him coming, and it frightens me. And I don't move because I'm frightened and I feel cold and I think I'm going to die. And then he puts his hand on me and he recites poetry. And he's almost naked. He wears a robe but he leaves it open. And he touches himself as he recites. He feels himself and he feels his stomach and his breasts and, and his behind and and then he puts his fingers in my parts and keeps reciting and he puts himself inside me and he says that I belong to him each day of my life in the best possible way. I should value the things I have, and I should value all those who are near me, and I should value the kindness that others bestow upon me. And if someone should treat me unkindly, I should not blind myself with rage, but I should see them, and I should receive them, since maybe they are in worse pain than me.